opening of the show usually featured Bill and I um, shot MOS, which is you know Hollywood term for mid out sound. Some German director came up with that, and they just would roll the camera on Bill and I with the long telephoto walking down the beach or driving around in his car or you know where the Beverly Center is now there used to be a little carnival little kitty rides little roller coaster and stupid little stuff and and they would just film us all over the place and we went to Acapulco and we filmed stuff there and we went to Palm Springs and and filmed things like that and then they would play it back and Bill and I would sit on a couch and they'd drop a mic down and they'd roll audio and everybody would just kind of leave the set and Bill would just start asking me questions and I would start asking him questions and he had some notes he knew which way he kind of wanted to you know get the things to go Dad, do you think we'll ever get married again? Do you want me to get married again? Eddie? Whatever you want What do you want? Whatever you want Okay, it's settled, right? Whatever I want Yep, as long as you get married but if we do get married, am I in with it? Of course you are. Do I have to start all over again, or could I be just like I am? Just like you are. Boy, that's a relief. Some were scripted, and, and some were just actual questions I had, or answers to questions that he would ask me. You know, we, we didn't really stick to a lot of scripted stuff. And those became known as Peanuts. The, the, Harry Nelson's uh, you know, theme song would, would play some of the little scat singing and stuff to, at, the, at the ends of them. And they were just really, really personal, candid moments that they happened to capture. And I don't know if it was planned, but it just worked out really well and it was cut into the show and it kind of opened and closed you know, all the episodes. And those were really great times, you know, to just sit with Bill on the couch in the, in the middle of the set. This big, ugly orange couch that we had, too. It was just, the thing was just hideous. But I, I remember it very well. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we, we'd get off subject, we'd get off topic, we'd start talking about other stuff, but they just let it roll. Because you never knew when one of us was going to come up with a little sound bite that they could use. And, and then the poor editors, they'd have to go through all the old footage and match it up and, you know, it was always, uh, while we were filming them, you know, don't point, try not to talk, because they couldn't match. If I pointed at something, they had nothing to cut to. It was supposed to just stay on us. So, just usually the back of our heads, you know, walking away where they could lay dialogue over it and kind of, kind of futz it. Now that I'm, you know, I've been an editor for quite some time. I know how to make that stuff happen. You know, you can, you can kind of do a little build-a-bite and put words in somebody's mouth that they've never said in their lives. Mm -hmm.